Welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 21 and 22. The Lord was going before them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them on the way, and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light, that they might travel by day and by night. He did not take away the pillar of cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. So God accompanied his people in their journey through the wilderness, and, and the visible sign of this, uh, always available, was the cloud. This was a misty thing there. I think we've probably have seen maybe some misconceptions of it. It was it's a very thin, misty, cloud-like space that was usually near the front because they were he was leading them, and that would be at the front of the vanguard as the group is is traveling. Some people have this idea that there are two separate pillars. You know, there's a separate one at, at the during the day, and there's a separate one by night. But when we, when we read the text, there's really one pillar. And it just it manifests itself a bit differently. It looks differently at different times of day. At night, you could see it shining, shining. And God gave them a nightlight to show them the way through the desert. And uh, during the day, it, it was portrayed in the Bible as a covering. And perhaps there was a moisture, you know, maybe it gave them some shade from the, uh, the intense heat in the desert. You may or may not be familiar with uh, the desert sort of... Uh, uh, geography. I spent some time living and pastoring in the Great Basin of the United States down there in Utah and Nevada. And, uh, you know, it, what people have this misconception like the desert is always hot. Well, actually, the desert is, is uh, it heats and it cools very quickly. So during the day, it becomes hot very speedily. And during the night, if there's a clear sky, you know, it'll cool down very quickly. The the land very quickly dissipates the heat. So life in the desert isn't all, you know, sweating and things aren't always the way you expect them to be. So I think it's pretty neat, actually, because uh, hot is pretty hard for me. Uh, it's pretty neat that God gave them this cloud, you know, kind of like uh, air conditioning, you know, as they're traveling, they're traveling away from Egypt and they've got sort of an air conditioning type thing going on, you know, some extra moisture from the cloud, extra protection from the heat. But God loves his people and he doesn't mind giving them some, some help along the way. So this cloud is a, a guidance. It's a continual reminder that God is with them. It's kind of like their GPS compared to what we have today, always showing them the right direction to go. And by looking up and seeing that all the time, it reminds them that we are going somewhere. You know, we're not just uh, wondering, but we're actually moving in a certain direction. There is an actual destination to, to which we are headed. And we might forget that today because we don't, we're not behind the cloud. We're not, we don't feel like, a lot of times we don't feel like we're journeying to the promised land. Instead, it's, we're kind of camped. We kind of live here. We all live in Egypt. Have a nice day. We all live in Babylon. We, we, we don't feel like we're going anywhere. And that's a problem for the church. It's much better to have a sense of direction, a sense of pilgrimage. We are on the way. We're not, we're not where we're landed yet. And these, all these material things surrounding us don't matter so much because God is our leader. We're going to a heavenly, a better and a heavenly kingdom. So, but instead we're kind of, we're kind of built in here and that's a problem for us. I hope we can uh, recognize that we are on a journey and we want to be faithful and follow the pillar by day and by night. See you tomorrow morning.